Let's talk about the vaginal exam, a topic that can feel intimidating but is actually a normal and important part of taking care of your health. This exam is a routine, essential part of reproductive health for people with vaginas, and it's something your doctor does to help you stay healthy at every stage of life. It's not just for when something feels wrong or unusual, it's a proactive checkup for your vulva, vagina, cervix, uterus, and ovaries, even if you feel perfectly fine. Doctors recommend these exams for preventive screenings like pap smears to investigate symptoms you might be experiencing or as part of prenatal care to make sure both you and your baby are healthy throughout pregnancy. The exam helps spot infections, cysts, and other conditions that could affect your well-being, sometimes before you even notice any symptoms yourself. It can also help your doctor catch early signs of cancer or other serious issues, often at a stage when they're easiest to treat. Think of it as a way to stay informed, empowered, and in control of your body and your health decisions. While it might feel awkward or uncomfortable at first, remember that it's a standard procedure your provider does all the time, and your provider's main goal is to keep you comfortable, answer your questions, and support your health every step of the way. Before your exam begins, your healthcare provider will take time to explain the entire process in detail, making sure you understand what to expect at each step. This is your opportunity to ask any questions you might have, whether they're about the procedure itself, how long it will take, or what you might feel during the exam. Your provider is there to support you and ensure you feel comfortable and informed. You'll be asked to give your consent before anything happens. Your permission is essential and nothing will proceed without it. The provider will explain why consent matters and make sure you feel empowered to make decisions about your care. You'll be given complete privacy to undress from the waist down. Most clinics provide a gown or sheet for you to cover yourself so you can feel as comfortable as possible. There's usually a private area or curtain to ensure your dignity is respected. Once you're ready, you'll sit on the exam table and let your provider know you're prepared for them to return. You can take your time. There's no rush and your comfort is important. Your provider will help you get into the lithotomy position, which means lying back with your feet in stirrups. This position allows the provider to do the exam safely and comfortably, and they'll make sure you're settled before starting. If you ever feel uncomfortable or anxious, let your provider know right away. They can adjust the process, answer more questions, or pause to help you feel at ease. Your comfort and well-being are always a top priority. Remember, you have the right to pause or stop the exam at any time, for any reason. You are always in control of what happens during your visit. Open and honest communication with your provider helps you feel more in control and can greatly reduce any anxiety you might have about the exam. The pelvic exam is a routine part of women's healthcare and understanding what happens can help you feel more at ease. The exam is typically divided into three main parts, the external exam, the internal exam, and the bimanual exam. Each step is designed to check your health and address any concerns you may have. First, your provider will visually examine your vulva, looking for any signs of irritation, redness, swelling, or unusual discharge. This helps spot infections or skin conditions early. Next, a speculum is gently inserted into your vagina. This tool allows your provider to see your vaginal walls and cervix clearly. During this part, a pap smear may be performed to screen for cervical cancer or other abnormalities. You might feel some pressure or mild discomfort, but the procedure shouldn't be painful. If you do feel pain, let your provider know right away. They can make adjustments to help you feel more comfortable. After the speculum is removed, your provider will perform the bimanual exam with gloved fingers inside your vagina and the other hand pressing gently on your abdomen, they check for any lumps, tenderness, or changes in your reproductive organs. This part of the exam helps assess the size, shape, and position of your uterus and ovaries, and can detect any unusual growths or areas of tenderness that might need further attention. Occasionally, a rectovaginal exam may be recommended, especially if you have certain symptoms or concerns. This is always discussed with you beforehand, and your consent is required before proceeding. Throughout the exam, your provider will explain each step as it happens, so you're never left wondering what's next. You're encouraged to ask questions or speak up about any worries. The entire process is usually brief, often lasting just a few minutes, and your comfort is always a top priority. Providers are trained to be gentle and respectful. Remember, your provider is there to support you, answer your questions, 
and make sure you feel informed and empowered every step of the way. After the exam, you'll have privacy to get dressed before discussing results. Your provider will review what they found, whether everything looks normal or if there are concerns. If samples were taken, you'll learn what they're for and when to expect results. This is your chance to ask questions or discuss next steps. All findings are documented for your health record and future care. Your comfort and consent remain the top priority. Remember, these exams are a standard way to protect your health. Open communication with your provider turns this routine check into an empowering experience.